This is Big Brother. Please welcome to the show, Tully. Oh, could it be the best series ever of Big Brother? I think quite possibly. 21 years Big Brother's been on our TV screens. Now, uh, I'd like to say good morning to Tully from Big Brother. How are you, mate? Good morning. Now, Tully, I'm a massive Big Brother fan. My two co-hosts, not so up to speed. Mm. So I'm going to try my very best to get everybody up to speed with who you are and what you do. And you can tell me if I get it wrong, okay? (laughs) Oh, I'm listening. Okay, okay. Okay. So Tully was on Big Brother ages ago. And while she was in there, she had a girlfriend on the outside. Mm -hmm. However, she uh, hooked up with Drew, who Mm. was in her series of Big Brother. Mm. Fast forward to current time. Drew gets put into Big Brother. (gasps) Drew, Tully's not in Big Brother yet. Yeah, okay. Drew hooks up with a girl called <gasps> Sam. Yeah. Oh. So he has a relationship inside the house. And guess who they added yeah. to the Big Brother house yesterday? Oh, no. Tully. They added Tully, the no. ex girlfriend. Oh, that's some good casting. Oh. <laughs> Did I get that right, Tully? <laughs> Yeah, you got that right. But can I just say, I I was always signed on to do the show. I was on a last minute edition. I was always coming. Um, he just gave the producers additional TV gold by uh, moving very quickly this time. Ooh. Yeah, right. So when did you? When did you? What was the moment you realised he was in the house? I actually had a really bizarre moment. Um, I mean, I had an inkling. It was my worst nightmare, basically. Mm. So when I was thinking about all the possibilities, that was my worst case scenario. But I was being held by a producer with a headset on, about to be shoved into the house, and through his headset, I heard them say, camera on Drew, camera on Drew. Oh. So I, I knew in that moment uh, what I was about to walk into. Wow. I, and just to clear up the details of you and Drew, so you started seeing each other in the house in 2013. How long did that relationship last for? Oh, look, not very long. Um, he couldn't keep it in his pants, which I guess is a bit of karma for me. Yeah. Um, so it was on and off for about a year. I did move to Melbourne for him, but yeah, we didn't work out. Shock. Yeah, because Shock horror. You sort of cheated on your girlfriend at the time with Drew, is that right? Yep, I did. Yeah, I did. Wow, the drama around it. There's a lot going on. So then, so Drew's got this girl, Sam, that he's been hooking up with in the Big Brother house. I mean, how did that go when you found out he's actually seeing someone in the house? That's a bit orkies. Uh, it's super awkward, but I wasn't surprised. Uh, the guy can't be alone. He he is never single for very long, and he doesn't really like to do things by himself. So I wasn't surprised. Um, but yeah, it was it was super awkward. I mean, no one wants to you know bump into their ex at a party, let alone live in a house with them. And. Mm. The added uh, addition of Sam just made things that little bit more awkward. But Sam is a lovely, lovely girl. I have nothing but love and respect for her. What would your advice be to Sam then, Tully? Um, You could probably do better. (laughs) So, Tully, are there any love interest prospects for you in there? No, absolutely not. I have a lovely boyfriend of almost a year, Daniel. So, no, I'm a happily taken lady. I should have stalked your Insta Um, before to see that. Let me find him. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a happily taken lady um, with a really beautiful, lovely boyfriend. So, no, no love interest for me. They're all too young. I mean, I'm, I'm an old lady now. Like, I was a, a little <laughs> young pup back then. I was 25. I'm about to turn 35. And most of the housemates, especially the newbies, they're all quite young. So, no, mm. no love prospects for me this time around. Uh, and Tally, what do you do with yourself these days? Um, I'm a podcaster. I have my own podcast podcast called Too Much Tully, which I absolutely love. Um, After that revelation, I am going to go to podcast, search for Tally, and if there are any nuggets in her podcast, then I'm going to create videos and upload those. If you are interested in those type of videos, please like this video and comment so that I do know it cues me and tells me you're interested in those type of things. If not, I'll fall back. Well, eventually I will. Um, we talk about Kind of just being a 30-something year old, I was single for quite a while. So it's about like dating with anxiety and, you know, getting your eggs frozen. What, what, do, you, what do you do about your fertility? Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm a social media influencer. So I was really lucky enough to gain a social media following the first time around. And I've yep. somehow managed to make that last uh, nine years now, which I'm very fortunate for. Do you get a touch embarrassed referring to yourself as a social <laughs> media influencer? Oh, I always, that always makes I... me squirm. <laughs> Honestly, it's my my least favorite question is what do you do? I, yeah. I always lead in because I'm a journalist as well. Like I have a journalism degree, so I always lead in with everything else that I do, and then I wrap it up with social media influencer because you can just see people's <laughs> eyes glaze over <laughs> yeah. and yeah. roll to the back of their heads, and I'm like, oh. Like, no, I understand what, what you're saying. I'm a fl- I'm a philanthropist. No, because uh, he also loves content creator. As well, I'm a as content. <laughs> I am a content creator <laughs> and philanthropist. Hey, uh, now Tyler, you promised no crying this season, but Ooh. I reckon we saw tears in a promo what's uh what upsets you in the house 
I watched I watched last night with a bunch of my friends, and when I said that, the whole room started laughing because I'm just an emotional person. Like, I'm an empath. I feel everything for everybody. Um, so, yeah, there were definitely tears in the house. But also, I don't know if you guys have been watching, but a lot of people have already cried. Like, mm. people in there that say, I'm not a crier, I just don't cry. It's a really weird, emotional little pressure cooker. And the smallest things can upset you. But, you know, we were hungry. We, were, we weren't eating. We weren't sleeping. Um, and then, of course, I was living with Tim Dormer, who's just a, a real uh, a real jerk sometimes. So, <laughs> <laughs> without I, spoiling it, there are definitely tears coming. Well, mate, we think you did a, a wonderful job. And welcome back to Big Brother. And thanks so much for the chat this morning. Tully from Big Brother Australia. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Tully. 